As the weather turns colder, it is time to reach for a glass of Chamberson, Missouri wine's varietal of the month. I uh, smell uh, blackberry, I can smell licorice, um, a little bit of cedar. And then the taste is wonderful. Um, it fills my mouth with all these wonderful uh, tastes and, and the balance of the uh, alcohol, the acidity, the tannins uh, is, is all in place. Very enjoyable wine. The Chamberson grape is used to make a variety of styles of wine and the characteristics of the wine are expressed through the vineyard where the French-American hybrid grape is grown. There's a style to, to match with just about any type of uh, let's say late fall or winter uh, uh, cuisine. Before it makes its way to the glass, Chamberson hangs on the vine for a long growing season. In our vineyards, we like, we like our grapes to be facing south and uh, the rows run east and west. And that way all the grapes get exposure to the sun very evenly and they get that exposure early in the morning to late at night. So the, the more sun that the grape vines are gonna get, the more mature the grapes will be and uh, the more sugars we'll get and therefore the more natural alcohol. Even straight from the vine, Chamberson grapes are enjoyable. They're nicely balanced right in the vineyard so I, you could use these as a table grape. If they didn't have the uh, seeds in it, it would be a beautiful table grape. Wine grapes, they tend to be uh, a little bit acidic. They tend to, uh, you know, be tart and you can taste the tannins in the grape skins and it's not really that way with Chamberson. So it, it looks beautiful, makes good wine, it's easy to grow and uh, that's why a lot of people in Missouri are growing it. Missouri winemakers use the Chamberson varietal to produce wines ranging in body, color and sweetness. Uh, the lighter style Chamberson is going to go great with turkey, uh, chicken, uh, you know, um, uh, wild uh, uh, waterfowl. Uh, the heavier styles are going to go good with uh, ham and uh, stews and steaks. The variety Chamberson lends itself to make it the perfect gateway wine for any novice. Mainly because uh, it doesn't have the, the real strong tannins like, uh, for instance, Norton would have. And so for, for people that are just beginning to uh, enjoy red wines, this is be a good place to start out. When you taste Chamberson, you are enjoying an award-winning varietal. Missouri's wineries compete in wine competitions against some strong competitors and still come out on top, showing the wine industry how it is done in the Show Me State. We're not just uh, uh, comparing it against other Missouri Chambersons, we're comparing it against uh, Chamberson and other wines uh, from around the world. So all the wineries in Missouri do very well with their Chamberson grapes in national, international competition as well as local competition. After all, Missouri is the optimum place to grow Chamberson. You can sample Chamberson at a local winery and even compare local vintages on a wine trail. While you are there, be sure to try something new. In fact, I lo love to experiment with wines and try something new. And uh, so this month, November, would be a great time to add a few Missouri wines to your, uh, your dinner, add them to your cellar, and uh, experiment with them a little bit. For recipe ideas to pair with Chamberson this season, visit MissouriWine.org.